Can somebody please give me the mathematic equation that the pretendian nation is using to, to, to arrive at the conclusion that since they have one or two or three or four Native American ancestors, they are 100% Native American. Can somebody help me understand what is the mathematical equation? I'm going to have a snow bunny rehabilitation conference for black males. Oh, yes. We got to save our brother's soul from the snow bunnies. Oh, yes. I'm going to have a rehabilitation conference for all sisters with fake hair. Yes. The ethnic cleansing of the black community. That's what it is. Replacing black with brown you're not going to get away with this eric adams replacing black with brown you're not going to get away with this brandon johnson oh, oh yes i just wanted to wake up with my caribbean africans my jamaican africans my man my, my Montserrat Africans, my Turks and Caicos africans my barbados africans bahamian bermudian I just wanted to wake up with all my Africans in the Caribbean this morning. The ancestors got me up a little early. I'm not one. Listen, if you have one, two, three, four, five, six Native, four great, 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 grandparents you have 64 great 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 grandparents you have 64 great 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 grandparents you got 32 great 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 grandfathers and you got 32 great 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 grandmothers if a handful of them are native american that does not make your ass native american i wish you negroes cut it out i wish you pretendians would cut this bullish out. You got 64 great, 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 great grandparents. So what if a handful was Native Americans? How did you stop being an African and become a Native American? Because you 5% Native, you 10% Native, you 20% Native, you 30% Native, and now you 100% Native? What kind of mathematics is the pretendians using? Can somebody please give me the mathematical equation of the pretendian coons? Can somebody please give me the mathematic equation that the pretendian nation is using to, to, to arrive at the conclusion that since they have one or two or three or four Native American ancestors, they are 100% Native American. Can somebody help me understand what is the mathematical equation? What is the algebraic equation? What is the numerical formula that the pretendians are using that allows them? If you got, if you, you got eight great grandparents, if you got eight great grandparents and 16 great great grandparents and 32 great 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 grandparents and 64 great 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 grandparents just because a handful of them just because a handful are native american how do you dismiss the majority of your ancestors who are african can somebody give me the mathematical equation of the pretendians i need to see the formula what are you using to come to this conclusion that if I have four Native American grandparents out of 64, if I have four Native American grandparents out of 32, if I have four Native American grandparents out of 16 great grandparents, how in the hell do I become predominantly Native American? Can somebody give me the formula? Can somebody give me the formula? Can somebody please give me the formula, brothers and sisters? Why do you live in America if you hate Caucasians? I never said I hated Caucasians. So I can't even answer your question because the central premise of your question is based on information. My dear brother, I hope you are not an African. It's 
too early for the Africa. It's too early, my brother. Are you a Negro being? Are you a pretending? What are you, my brother? What are you, my brother? I'm not going to bed, sister. I'm wide awake. The ancestors got me up. I'm about to call on the Orisha after I worship Almighty God. I'm going to call on the Agoon Goon after I worship Almighty God. I'm going to call on my Egg Bay Orun after I worship Almighty God. I'm going to call on the Eya Me after I worship Almighty God. Oh, yes. I'm going to call on my spirit gods after I worship Almighty God. Oh, yes. Negro peans in the chat. It's too early for that. But I'm going to have a Negro Pian conference. I'm going to have a conference just for Negro Pians, a re Africanization conference for Negro Pians. I'm also going to have a re Africanization conference for Snow Bunny Crisis victims, all black men who suffer from the Snow Bunny Crisis. Whether you suffer from the white bunny crisis, the brown bunny crisis, the yellow bunny crisis, or the red bunny crisis, I'm going to have a Snow Bunny rehabilitation conference for black males oh yes we got to save our brother's soul from the snow bunnies oh yes oh yes oh yes help them relearn who they are oh yes i'm going to have a rehabilitation conference for all sisters with fake hair yes when you come to the conference, you must sign a contract. All sisters with fake hair have to come to the rehabilitation conference for fake hair. And you got to sign a contract that you are leaving the conference with your natural hair. We're going to have natural hairdressers. We're going to have natural hairdressers, and they're going to turn you natural in one day. Oh, yes, sister. We're not playing. We re-Africanizing everybody. We re-Africanizing everybody. We re-Africanizing everybody. And if we can't re-Africanize everybody, Whoever can't be re-Africanized, we're going to put you on a, on a uh, cruise ship. If you can't be re-Africanized, we're going to put you on a cruise ship. If you can't be re-Africanized, we're going to put you on a cruise ship, take you to the middle of the Caribbean Sea, and give you to the ancestors. I said, if you cannot be re-Africanized, we're going to take you to the middle of the Caribbean Sea and drop you off to the ancestors. I said, if you cannot be re-Africanized, we're going to take you to the middle of the Caribbean Sea and drop you off to the ancestors, brothers and sisters. If it ain't nappy, I can't be happy. And when I say nappy, I know some sisters are born with fine hair, thin hair. Nappy is just a metaphor for natural sisters. Don't get your panties in a bunch. Don't get your panties in a bunch, my sisters, with the thin hair, the fine hair, the curly hair. I'm talking about you too, sister. I'm not discriminating against grades of hair. Have you not been following me for the past 13 years? I do not discriminate against natural hair. Have you not been following my message for the last 13 years, okay? If you are natural, you are included when I say nappy. The N in nappy stands for natural. Let's not be intellectual masturbators, my beautiful African queens. I done already told you. I love you whether you butter almond or butter pecan. I done already told you. I love you whether you African lemonade or African vanilla. I done already told you. I love you whether you are sweet brown sugar, hot spice, warm cinnamon, chocolate fudge. I done already told you that I love you no matter what color you are, no matter what hair you are. The only thing I discriminate is five, 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 thick enough. It's too early for that, my brothers. We must stay focused. It's too early for that, my brothers. We must stay focused. It's too early for that, my brothers. We got to bring the lashes back. Okay, I'm going to bring the lashes back. 